in Autodesk Inventor, you can have the option of, of modeling both in surfaces and solids as well. So with, uh, with Inventor, um, you can take a surface model or in you know, a bunch of surfaces, turn it into a solid model, as well as take a solid model and turn it into a surface model. One of the reasons why you use surface modeling is because, you know, it, it, you know, consumer products are very, you know, much, very smooth and things like that. And you can't get out those, those smooth curves uh, just by doing solid modeling. So, you know, you do a combination of the two from surface to solid. So now what I'm going to do is just going to show you some of the, the techniques um, on this uh, object over here to be able to create a surface model and in the end get out a solid model. So I'm going to go to my loft command over here and with the loft command, Okay, right click, edge chain, and then choose my first section of the top over here. Now you'll see I can't select it because I've actually my output is solid. So just remember, you must go to your uh, surface output. Okay, select that uh, edge over there, and then I'm going to go and edge select this edge over here. Okay, so now what happens is I've got that running straight from the one profile to the other profile. And then select my rails, and then you can see now it follows those rails in there. So it gets the shape that I really want. The next thing I'm going to do is, you know, I can't really see this body that I've created. So what I can do, and that's because, you know, my background, I could obviously change the background. I could see a little bit better. But I'm just going to right click, and I'm going to click on translucent, and then, you know, it takes a much more solid coloring. Now, what I can do from here is I can go use the patch command. And with the patch command over here, select the top. And what it does, it actually puts a patch on the top over here. So it covers up that profile. Now, the options I've got under profile is instead of just using a free condition, I can go either tangent or smooth. I'm going to go my tangent condition. You'll see there it's now tangent to that, that straight edge over there. And you can see I've got a weighting over here. And I'm going to say my weighting must be 0 0.1. So it's nice and flat. Or my weighting must be 0 0.9. It actually raises it up quite a bit. But I'm actually going to keep it on 0 0.5. That's, that is actually perfect for me. Okay. If I wanted to, I could right click on this boundary patch and I can say translucent and there it changes over there. Okay. So there we go. So looking much better. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now do another loft at the bottom. But this time, I'm going to loft from a profile to a point. So once again, output surface. Let's go select that. Okay, oh, let's just right click. Uh, oh, the edge chain, let's just do that again. Loft, surface, right click, edge chain. There we go. Let's choose that whole one over there. And then I'm going to go click to add. And I'm going to right click, select other point. Okay, so there we go. Got point again. But now I don't really want that point, it's too sharp for me. So go to my conditions and you'll see their point sketch. Okay, select my drop down and there I can go tangent. I can also go tangent to a plane as well. Okay, but I'm just going to go tangent. Looks much better. Click on OK and there I've got that surface over there. Let's just go translucent. Okay, so this is coming along quite nicely. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to make a cutout over here using this profile. So let's go to extrude. Okay, and let's just go make it a um, a surface extrude, and I'm just going to go drag this so that it actually goes all the way through there. Okay, so I need this to disappear into there. Okay, so there you can see there's my line that it disappears into. Okay, so cool. Okay, so now what we want to do is I want to make sure that I cut off that inner surface over there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our trim. Okay. Select your cutting tool, which is that one over there. And then what I want to remove, I'll remove that inside patch. Okay, and there we go. So let's now go and just take the visibility of this off, because I don't need to see this anymore. And I've got this great little cutout over here. So I've been able to use, you know, loft, loft to, to a point, um, some patch with some, you know, some weightings that it gives that rounded edge over there. Now, for this over here, I need a surface to go straight down all the way around over here. So what we've got is we've got ruled surface. With a ruled surface, I'm going to select the surface over here, and you'll notice here now, okay, it's not actually showing it preview. I think the distance is a bit big. So I'm going to go 1, and uh, let's just see what happens over here. Do I get a preview? Okay, so that's not really what I want. Let's try. 
try this one here. Okay, there we go. So now I've got a ruled surface, an angle, let's make it uh, 45, 15. And you can see how it, you know, how that angle goes down. Okay, so there we go, make it 90. 90. Okay, so there you can see that now actually goes down by 90 degrees. Let's make it maybe 1.5. Okay, can I still see a preview? Cool, it still works. Click on OK, and there we go. Now, just to see a little bit better, I'm going to go and put my translucent on. So that's what it looks like. Okay, great. Now what we can do is we can actually now do another patch just to patch that up and to, to put there my patch. Taking off my transit, so that's what it's going to look like. Okay. Now what we can do is now we can turn this into a surface model. So let's go to our uh, stitch or sculpt. Okay, let's do stitch. Select all my surfaces and click on apply. And you'll notice at the top there, it's gone to a solid over there. And then maybe I can go put some fillets in there just to make it look a bit better. Okay, so basically, um, that's just quickly showing you how, you know, after creating my 2D sketches um, and some 3D sketches as well, going through my loft, patch, uh, stitch, as well as a ruled surface and trimming to get a 3D model out like this. Thanks very much for watching.